Well, this is lots of fun. Uh, that's an email address. Right? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, Okay, Hal, I guess I'm going to need you or okay, uh, somebody else to hold this tablet on the screen and make our usual announcements. Screen for audio. So I'm not. Do you want to give an announcement? Yeah, I'll just start up. Are we? Are we? Yeah, rolling? I guess we've been on the air for five minutes. Oh, good. Well, that is good to know. Uh, on your I think we are pointing in the wrong direction. I'm having trouble getting all clear. We gotta move the camera. The camera, not the. Uh, yeah. Uh, back this up a bit. Oh. Let me give you some slack with that cable. This battery is ain't gonna last over. Uh, are we are we on your iPad or are we on your? We're phone? on the iPad because I oh, can't get the, the phone to work. Oh, okay. All right. All righty. Well. We are having some technical difficulty, uh, as you can probably tell if you're watching this. But uh, this is the uh, the May meeting of the Chicago TI user group. Um, <laughs> we're going to uh, going to have some workarounds here today because uh, we have some uh, uh, technical problems uh, with the camera and uh, also uh, some problems, uh, unfortunately, with the uh, the gear that we need to uh, uh, do the demos. But at any rate, here we are. Um, and we are uh, a smaller company than usual today. Uh, uh, Ken Griffith uh, is with us. Um, Vic Stur, of course, our president, has got to be here because he has all the programs and all of the equipment uh, to present it. And um, I'm here as well. I'm Hal Shanfield. I'm the fair chairman and uh, general dog's body. But um, I guess we are ready to go, Vic. And uh, mm -hmm. here we are. Uh, now, Ken is trying desperately to balance that thing, and uh, hopefully we'll mm -hmm. manage to get it. And I have to... Uh, well, if you back it up far enough, you can probably get the whole yeah. screen in. I have to go and uh, monitor on um, mm -hmm. on YouTube. I don't know why. So unfortunately, I, I forgot my sound cable for the TI, so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate any music programs. But the uh, basic uh, thing I want to do today was go through the uh, part two of our uh, tribute to the late Barry Harmson, and this is off of a uh, file disc he had. Called, uh, get this straight. Oh boy. Of, uh, literally thousands of uh, TI discs and dot DSK format and uh, so one of those uh, folders that was on the DVDs and then later the thumb drives that were given away at the fairs uh, had 8 gig of software that he smilingly told me as he handed me the thumb drive he said this is all the software and he has related stuff in Europe and I believe them because it was uh, books, scans of magazines, uh, many programs, uh, many libraries. Yeah, there's some duplication in it. But 
we'll uh, give it to the RSV here. And RSV for directory. And we'll go to disk one. Like, oh, this is the uh, compass tunnels of doom. On one folder he had was called Game Shelf. Uh, not the one called TI Game Shelf. This one was just called Game Shelf. And I found uh, a disk uh, that was Tunnels of Doom. And there's been some recent activity where a newcomer to the club uh, in folder, uh, wanted to play Tunnels of Doom. And he had a Nano PEB, but he didn't have the cartridge. So I was casting about trying to find these files down here. TOD uh, colon one through colon four. And uh, what those are is those are EA5 files that will run uh, Tunnels of Doom cartridge, but as a disk. Uh, previously, I had Tunnels of Doom as a bin file for a final gram, and I could not find this disk file for uh, running it off the e either a floppy disk or a uh, Nano. Well, the high point of this is this comes with a bunch of games. And so trying to figure out what these games could be fun, because uh, you have to load the program and then it's not perfect. You have to load the program and generate a character, and then it finally tells you the name of the adventure you're playing. Or if you have the uh, disk file on a PC and you use Fred Cowles, T-I-D-I-R, then you can just easily go to that individual file and click on it. And you can look at the actual code, whether it's basic, extended basic, or assembly, uh, EA5, and actually read it. So we've got, going up here, we've got read first, which introduces this disk. Assault, which is the game file for uh, Tunnels of Doom. It's not a standalone program. This is the data for the Tunnels of Doom cartridge. Assault the City. Uh, below that, we have Assault Doc, which is an actual runnable program that tells you uh, what's going on with Assault the City. Now, normally, if you have something like up here, like Read First, you need something that can read a DB80 file. So you either need TI Writer, which could be cumbersome. Uh, a lot of uh, people put uh, JP Hottie's uh, DB80 reader program, notably Ken Gilliland on his disk of, you know, dinosaurs and the Old West and things like that that we've demoed. Uh, he puts it on there. And uh, I like using boot. And with my Nano PEB, I store all the utilities on disk three, because and that automatically comes up on every one of my compact flashcards, because disk three is seldom used in the TI world. So it's handy to put a DB80 reader, a, a disk manager, uh, identifier to tell you what you've got, things like that. So going back down here, Doctor, that's the Doctor Who adventure. Uh, Tunnels of Doom edited for uh, Doctor Who and his companions and the kind of opponents and things you'll find. Uh, General Doc is uh, generic for uh, all these different programs. Kmart, now this is fun. My wife asked me to set this up on an emulator for her, for her PC. It's Daring Adventures in Kmart. I believe this was done by Ken Gilliland as a joke. And uh, some of your edited weapons are like a shopping cart. So when you confront disgruntled other shoppers or managers, you see your character pushing a shopping cart into an opponent, and then there's an impact flash of it striking. Is there a blue light special? Yes, yes there are. There's red tag and blue light specials in Daring Adventures in Kmart. This one down here, load, is real nice because it's got the embedded EA5 loader uh, to load Tunnels of Doom as an EA5 
program. Next one down is orbs, which is the dragon orbs. I can't say I've ever seen this one before. Pennies. This is the non-violent, simpler version of Tunnels of Doom for youngsters to where there's no weapons, there's no combat, there's no monsters. You just go around and you find pennies on the floor. And the idea is to pick all them up and some other treats. So it's a simplified program for either demonstration at a kiosk that you could leave it running or for little ones we don't really you know, want to get into fighting. Uh, let me go down one here. That's what they like. You know, they like the violence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> QMMD is Quest for the Magic Maker. Uh, again, I haven't seen that one before. Then uh, Quest is one of the original two files that came with Tunnels of Doom. Quest of the King, to where the king has been kidnapped and you have to go and try to find uh, in this multi-layer uh, uh, dungeon uh, where the king is. And on the way you encounter monsters, you might pick up weapons, armor, uh, other enchantments. Uh, space M, Space Mine. Uh, it's an outer space adventure. And of course, S Trek is Tunnels of Doom, but in the Star Trek universe, to where you've got the crew there and some red shirts, and uh, <laughs> you know what happens to them all the time. And you've got the original Tunnels of Doom. Now, a lot of these discs on here have archive files and you need Archiver to uncompress them. Well, for some reason, uh, TOD Arc is on this disk along with all the unarchived files. In case you want to arc them mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, uh, TOD Arc, Tomb, and the next one down, Tomb Instructions, are bad files on this disk. They don't run. Uh, as usual, I'll try posting this stuff on uh, one of the Facebook groups, uh, Chicago TI user group. I'll try posting all the software there so everybody else can play with it too. So we're going to go up. I'll show you how this usually works. This is in disk one. I'm going to quit. Select RXB. And it's looking, go look at disk one to automatically load, and it comes up. Now notice at the top of the screen, this isn't the regular TI screen. This is a running program. This is load with the GLP or GPL uh, simulation. So you press one for Tunnels of Doom. And don't panic at this screen. Uh, this was vexing for Rich Gilbertson. People don't write programs correctly and software correctly. So for his fine program, which I prefer, because it's got the disk viewer and all sorts of stuff on it, I don't have to swap out extended basic for the disk manager and stuff. Uh, we get this uh, garbled version here. But we can go to five. And if I had sound hooked up, you'd hear the very familiar Tunnels of Doom theme song the correct 1982 Texas Instruments. And where do you want to load your data from? We're going to want to load it from disk one. And what was it we were going to go through? Let's try to Kmart. I'd like to see the Ah, uh, yes. So I recommend when you get a disk like this, that if you just show that in front of the camera, I just take a piece of common lined notebook paper that I can put in a spiral binder and I write down the director, directory and the names of all these files. So uh, I don't have to try to go, oh gee, what was that I wanted to do again? So we're going to want K function U underline mark. Or was it a hyphen on that? It's a hyphen on that. Okay. We have to go back. I can K shift and Slash T mark. I should have held this up a little bit longer. Uh, 
ah, it found it. So we can go with the new dungeon, restock the old dungeon, like if you've saved this game. Uh, usually I do it like Kmart 1, Kmart 2, Kmart 3, uh, my various game saves. Or you can just start off on a new dungeon. Or if that was one of your game saves, you can continue the current game. But we'll, uh, we'll try restocking the, uh, we'll try a new dungeon. New dungeon, yeah. Number of floors, we'll have one floor. Number of the party, oh, we'll have three. <laughs> Oh, um, let's go for hardest. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, clear one. It's hell. Class. Okay, hell, you can be a sharper, a bargain whiz, or a shoplifter. Oh, I'll be a shoplifter. <laughs> okay. And what color do you want your character? <laughs> oh, better be a flaming. <laughs> oh, no, make it a blue. Blue. Okay. Does it make a flimmy pink? No, that would be sending in a wrong signal. All right, now this gives you a chance to back up if you put the dead in wrong. But we do uh, function six, proceed. Okay, and what can, name do you want for your character? Um, I guess Ken. I don't know. Ken? And uh, you can be a shopper or a bargain with. A shopper. And any color but blue? Uh, green. Huh. Okay. Okay, so let's. Okay. I guess I'll be a bargain with. Oh. And I'll be a. So there's your various characters. You notice you've got different graphics. Hell, it looks like you have a suit and a hat on. <laughs> yeah, that's some somewhere to put in. You know, I gotta have pockets if I want a shop left in there. Ken, you're green. And it looks like I have a dress on as a bargain dress. <laughs> <laughs> so please wait to dungeon under construction. Go ahead, Hell. Oh, well, let's see. Your quest is to find the blue light special and the three red tag cells before Kmart closes. But beware. Greedy housewives and overworked night managers lurk around every aisle. <laughs> Conceived by Ken Gillian, distributed by Asgard. Ah, this is, uh, the original Tunnels of Doom was written by uh, John Benke. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I could, uh, we can try loading one of those. John is a, John is a policeman now. Okay. Uh, at the time, he was uh, just a young fellow in our group. Uh, what, 30, 40 years ago? All those smiling young fellows in the group. Yeah. yeah. So, so you start out on the first floor that has the uh, store. In other versions, this would be the weapon shop yeah. or the store or something like that. But here's the bargain basement. <laughs> so you can buy weapons, which would be like a club, a sword, something like that. And then you could have ranged weapons, which would be like a bow and arrow, a slingshot. Uh, number four, you can have different types of armor that you can wear. Number five, you can have a shield. Number six, you have food rations in other versions of the game, but there, here you have munchies. And seven, you have healing. So uh, I don't have my Tunnels of Doom index here, but the different characters are limited on what kind of weapons and armor they can use, uh, depending on if you have a fighter, he can use heavier weapons and heavy armor, but he can't use magic. Mm. To where a wizard cannot use uh, a heavy sword, a crossbow, uh, steel armor, leather, the steel steel armor or heavy leather armor, because he's a magician. He just wears robes, but he can manipulate magic. And then you have a third character, a ranger, who can handle a modest amount of weapons, armor, and magic. So depending on what characters you have, you can have different uh, uh, different uh, abilities by which number. So let's buy weapons.
Okay, you can buy a coupon <laughs> clipper, a coin purse, or a wallet. Oh, well, I'm such a cheapie. Let's, I'll, I'll get the uh, Here. coupon clipper, I guess. Okay. You have to get, uh, have to get what, a coin? Uh, Coupon clippers, that's just, I'll go. Well, a coin purse costs more. Yeah, it all yeah. costs more, but they probably uh, disable an opponent to a greater degree. Yeah, I'll smack them with my coin purse? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hit that. All right, I'll get a coin purse. I don't know. You, that, can, that can get something. Oh, boy. <laughs> this looks like uh, all the money for the entire group of the three of us. Oh, is that it? Oh, well. Knock yourself out there. Get yourself some good. <laughs> Maybe a wallet then. Okay. Now get the coin first then. Okay. Okay, I can't use a coin purse. You can't use a coin purse? Oh, that's a bummer. Let me try that again. Oh, here, I'll just get the coupon. Well, let me try a wallet then. I can't use that either. So it's one of those characters that can't use uh, powerful heavy weapons. So I'm limited to the lightweight one. Right for, oops. There, I was able to buy that. Yeah, if you got the uh, Tunnels of Doom player's manual, it would go all through this in detail, what you can buy and what you can use. Okay, press back. So then we have, uh, what do we have left? We got like a, probably need uh, munchies. Oh yeah, we gotta have munchies. Well here, let's look at the armor. Can we buy, can we go to the dispensary and buy some of the uh, legal products? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Not in this game. Uh, but here's the armor, Bermuda shorts, a plaid shirt, and Argyle socks are especially powerful armor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll take just Bermuda shorts because I, I want to show off my torso and my lovely legs. There we go. If it gets you a plaid shirt. Okay. Oh, okay. You'll be stylish. You only got so much money. Now, Tunnels of Doom, as you explore the, uh, the dungeons, you might uh, find money. So you can go up, you know, back up to the uh, general store or here in the bargain basement and uh, buy better weapons stuff like that. So we got 90 left, so we better get some munchies because every step you take, and there's three of us, so we better, have plenty of munchies here. Oh wait, uh, we all get? Yeah, it's for the group. Oh, okay, good, that's all good, yeah. Five, shields, let's see about shields. Baby pop. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of a different kind of shield, but uh, just as well, just as well, I don't have that up there. Oh, you can't use baby powder, else. <laughs> no, I can't use baby powder. I might get, uh, I might get something. Oh, uh, Ken can use baby powder. No, and can't. I can't use baby powder. Oh man! Oh gosh! Damn! Well, I expect some. Here. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be dry, that's for sure. Okay, so we're done, so it'd be function six, proceed. Yeah. And be playing the music. Now you notice in the lower right corner, uh, you've got an arrow pointing down. Uh, that's your stairway pointing down. I thought and, we're on one level. Well, yeah, but the uh, it's only one level underground. The store is on the surface of the oh. earth. So you have to descend at least one level. Uh, notice the uh, tiling around the perimeter of the game square here. It's all K's. And you have the Kmart logo in the lower left. 
So I will press function in X down, and it will play the descending music. Sorry, I forgot my sound cable. That's half the uh, half the game is the uh, creepy music. Okay, select movement option. Well, what you want to do here is press M for a map. And that shows you where you are. Now, the map only shows what you've explored. It doesn't show you the whole level unless you get to a room and you discover a map laying there on the floor. So we press back. And you've got solid lines at the top and bottom of the room. And you've got dotted lines on the left and the right. So guys, which way do you want to go? Um, I don't think it makes a damn bit of difference. <laughs> say left or right. You just say it. And right. I guess. Right. We'll go right. Okay. So function in D. No, it's direct access. D. Okay. So now we've oh. exited out the room. And if I wear it, the red square is where we're at. And it's interpreted as a tunnel stretching off into the distance. So all we can really do is press, uh, notice it says what compass direction you're going there at the top of the screen. Yeah. So I press E, and that was move straight ahead, move straight ahead. Oh, there's a cross corridor. If I press map again, you can see it makes like a little T there at the far right. What are we looking for, the men's room or? Uh, the the uh, light special. The, the, uh, the built-in subway or what? what? Okay. I'll... Uh, the deli counter, that's what we're looking for, the deli counter. I turned right. Let's go back to map. So we're at a T intersection now. We turned right, are facing south. And you see there's a room up there. OK, now when you're right outside a room, there might be something dangerous in that room. So you can press L for listen. And if you hear something growling or a noise like that, then you know there's something dangerous in there. You might not want to go into that room. Hmm. Uh, however, since we don't have the sound card, we're deaf. Uh, we're sound. Yeah, yeah, we're deaf. We're deaf. Yeah. Uh, I can turn uh, left here, and again, going to map, and so there's a rat. There's a room just south of us there, and there's a corridor that stretches off there. We go back. Okay, now we can enter the room just by pressing the arrow key. In this case, E, to go straight ahead. Uh, however, what happens is only two of your party enter the room, and one guy is stuck left outside. Designated survivor? Yeah, yeah, so it can be a little cumbersome to try to get everybody in the room at the same time. But you can press, I think it's B, to burst into the room where everybody is in the room at the same time. So having more guts and sense. You really, you really uh -oh. gotta have the directions there, don't you? Oh my God, what's this? Three cafeteria ladies. They, their stats are they have a speed of two. Your turn, Hal. Coupon clippers ready. What? Uh, okay, you're the blue character. Okay. But uh, Ken is in between you and the first cafeteria lady. So what are, what, what are we, are we attacking them? Or are yes, we, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Because oh. look, there's a 60% off deal there in the lower left corner. We're going to want to get that. So oh. the best we can do is you get two uh, presses of a button. You can move and swing or move two squares or whatever. So the best we can do is like one, two. Okay, now the cafeteria ladies might move. So Ken, we're going to go with the S key to go left. Ah, ah, good man. <laughs> and Vic, uh, I got my coupon clippers ready, but I'm going to use one move. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Hal, the coupon clippers. Okay, just 
We'll go up, press X. Whack the bitch. You missed. That's Can. not good. Go through. We'll go press one to move, and my second key press. Ah, you hit the key. I can't yeah, with your move. purse. <laughs> I couldn't. The graphics are great. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, the best we can do is try to move down and help Hal here. Yeah, I'm not doing too well. I'm ahead. Well, let's see. Now you got 18 hit points left. Ooh. Did I? Uh... I'm getting I'm getting beat up by the cafeteria. Then. Oh, <laughs> end of the battle. Snuff that one, didn't I? Dee 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 dee. <laughs> well, let's get that sixty percent. Who will open the chest? Okay, sometimes these treasure chests are booby trapped. Uh huh. So uh, I believe it's a character known as a ranger or a thief has the best chance of opening up. A chest without a booby trap. Well, anyway. I'm the shoplifter, so let's uh, maybe I can steal the okay. the sixty percent off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found hundred and twenty bucks. All right. And a rubber band. And a rubber band. And that's a powerful weapon. So and is what it? is it? You want to uh, want to upgrade your? Uh, Who do I give that to? Well, you can have it. Oh, I can have a rubber band. Oh, yeah. Sounds like seventh grade. Uh, Woodshop class. Uh, it looks like you couldn't. Uh, ah, looks like your class of character could not accept a powerful rubber band. Yeah, I remember in seventh grade, Mr. Johnson. Oh, a map of this floor. Great. So we got a map now. Press M for map. And All right. Should be able to figure out. Okay, so blue is unexplored and black is what we have explored. Go back. Now, at any time during the game, you can press the keys one, two, or three. If you press one, it gives you your status of your characters. So, how many hit points you have, your weapons, your wallet, your you rubber band. You paper clip, too. Oh, ah, okay. Because you can switch weapons. If you're at a distance, you can go to your rubber band and snap a paper clip across the room of an opponent. Ah. And you have a modest chance of actually hitting them. You got the plant shoot, you got the baby powder, you got a protection level of five. Okay, function. I'm a pea shooter kind of guy, so Hell. yeah, that's uh, you got a twenty percent off sale match oh, item. Man. Let's press one and see what that's and which item? Data on which item? Twenty percent. So scroll, twenty percent off. Decreases, decreases player pain. damage. Oh. Okay, so if you, yeah, it's almost like healing. Oh man, I'm, I'm all afraid of that. That's... So, Ken, yeah, here we are. Here at the rubber band and paper clip. Oh, magic items. Al status 18. Yeah, you took uh, six. From 24, you got six wounds. Ooh. Now, as you that walk along, they'll heal lady. up for your armor. For me, your shorts, but you don't have a shield. I'll take off my shorts and scare them to death. Yeah. Notice your uh, your weapon. You have a coupon clipper, and for a secondary weapon, you don't have one. It says none. Hands. So, yeah. So your hands could do a damage or two, but it ain't much. I'm a trained killer. And Vic, I got 20% off sale too. And Vic has, uh, see, I've only had 17 hit points because of the class of character I have is a weaker class. But weapons, coupon clippers, no hands, I'm working with your shorts, protection too. Okay. And Ken, you don't have any magical items. Mm. So now we can go back, and here at this screen, where you're not actively fighting, you can press number two, and it gives you the status of your quest. So we have $160, we have 20 munchies, uh, we have to get a blue light special, a red tag number one, red tag two, red tag three, and they have 
uh, how many turns left to find these items, which goes back to the classic tunnels of Doom Quest for the King, because uh, you only had so many turns uh, to find all of the uh, magic orbs and to find the king himself. Otherwise, uh, you failed at your rescue mission. So there you go, your summary on your uh, characters. I don't know how many turns. Oh, I say that I need the... Uh... Well, I remember the blue light special. I don't remember the red tag at Kmart. <laughs> well, this was written in, uh, what, 80, 85? Okay, let's look at the map and ask which way do you want to go. Is that us in the uh, little red square? Yeah. Well, it looks like we got to go straight ahead. Huh? Well, if we go Start east, east. Yeah, uh, east. we're going to hit a T intersection, then we're going to have to turn either left or right uh -huh. to get to another room. It might be quicker if we just go north. I thought we'd just come from north. Yeah, we did. Huh. But that'll get us up here. Now you can hit three rooms in quick succession. Ah. So if I turn right, we can listen. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Not one of those nasty ass ladies? Hell. Uh, you're the blue character. Uh oh. Three old ladies. Oh, these are not cafeteria ladies. These are old okay, ladies. Okay, uh, can you have your wallet? And I press W for weapon. So now you've got your rubber band. Oh, geez, I messed up there. I was supposed to be able to aim that and uh, do the incorrect command there. So I just got two fun clippers. Go right and down. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, F to fire and move the cursor at the target you want. Position the press the space bar to fire. We're gonna fire a uh, paper clip. Nice. That actually did look like a nice. paper clip. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. Okay. The graphics are really cool. Uh -huh. I have to admit. Hey! Now, uh, remember these... Uh, Where does that come from? Yeah, it's from my phone. It means I got a text message. Oh, God. <laughs> I uh, thought it was a little old lady shouting. Uh, uh, yeah. The, uh... The, uh... Yeah, you can move the cursor on the target. Now, your targets, uh, some of these have armor. Uh, some of these are tough, and some of these have a chance of dodging. Mm -hmm. So even though you see the paperclip hit them, it doesn't always damage them. Oh, also, I wanted to say something here. Uh, we saw what keys number one and two did. One for examining individual players and two for the overall quest. Number three here, I can't do it. i got to fire this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. There we go. Number three tells you uh, what your opponents are. Uh -huh. So the old lady, this is an old lady, not a cafeteria lady. Uh -huh. So you only got uh, six uh, hit points. Experience of 10, months radiant attack two, damage two, defense one, resistance zero, speed of two, mobility only 25%. No chance of negotiation. I think I left that out is sometimes you can talk to these monsters mm. and uh, offer them money or intimidate them or whatever uh, and not necessarily have to fight every single No, I think an old lady would have a hard time negotiating with an old lady. They know what they want and they're going to get what okay. they want. And so I'm going to... Get you with their purse. Thanks for God invented All right, Ken, uh I'm going to... Put your wallet back and uh, the old lady's attack. Because oh. you get two uh, key presses for each character. 
So for me, I can move with one and try to attack with the other, which is futile because I'm out of range. Diagonals don't count. I guess he did on that. Help? There he Knock him down, yeah. Okay. And uh, some, some of these games, the uh, targets are rather, uh, the opponents are rather mobile. Mm. Uh, I'm good at knocking out these old ladies. <laughs> so what's our stats? Okay, so we got uh, M for map. Okay. So we go up. Where are we? Okay. Uh, up here, right here. Into this room. Oh, oh no. That's like a janitor. Uh oh. It's yeah. three janitors. Oh, oh gosh, we got one cut out. Yeah. Look at the uh, look at the treasure in the corner down there. So we'll uh, press three and see what a janitor is. And hit points of six. It's got three times the experience the old lady's had. The old lady yeah. had. So, oh, man, attack ranged. He can fling something somehow. Hit us with his boom? Yes. Attack us with a, with a mop? Well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I need to fling dirty water at you. Yeah. What, so, what is the treasure that we... Some sort of a gold... Well, let's see if we can defeat these guys. I'll move you up on Hal. Oh. And, oh. Yeah. I don't want bad ass. Let's down. All right. Go down. Oh, looks like I'm going to go down. I may be pressing my luck here. <laughs> End of the battle. Oh, man. A plaid shirt. Okay, if everybody remembers what they had, did you have a plaid Ken, shirt? Ken's got a plaid shirt. shirt. Okay, huh? Oh, I got a plaid shirt now, too, to go with my... Uh, no, I can't give it to you. Your classic character won't take it. I won't, yeah. yeah. That'll, that'll make me too powerful with my Bermuda shorts and my plaid shirt. I can't wear it. I'd be knocking. Yeah, Ken, you're going to get another plaid shirt. Okay. You can't hold all of this. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, that's that's rotten. Okay. Well, you have to give up something, but they're both the same. So this is common. A lot of times, if you've got a warrior, you find a sword, and then you find a battle axe that does more damage than the sword, and it goes. We can't carry both, so you want to, you know, drop the sword, drop the axe, whatever. So we won't have to. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Who do you want to give it to? Well, we found out Vic and Tanner can't use the plaid shirts. So we'll just have to drop it. Or give it to you. You can use it, can't you? No, I tried. Oh, I can't wear the plaid shirt. Okay, let's go to map. Uh, now we can go back. I think I know why. Uh, the Bermuda shorts might be plaid and you'd you yeah. clash. Yeah, and that would okay. be awful. Now, your key functions change. Because I press the X key to exit south out of that room. But well, once we're in the corridor, now they're direction keys, so I have to press E to move forward. What is that in the middle of there? Well, that's a, that's a toilet. We'll use the toilet. <laughs> I'm an old guy, I'll use the toilet. What's ah! It, what, what's it, right in the middle of the hall? It healed you. Now, these fountains and tunnels of doom are variable. Half the time, they have a benefit, and half the time, they don't. Or mm. they, they actually decrease your health or injure you. As long as something. it doesn't put something back in, I think the, you know, the title would be okay. That would be really rude. <laughs> okay, so we're going to turn the Like the time we dropped the cherry bomb in the, girl, in the guy's bathroom and it blew up in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> They were not really that big. We don't hurt any of the spells. 
Okay. So we can go west. Uh, somebody actually uh, redid this where they painted bricks on the walls to give you more of an uh, impression of that uh, you were moving. So here we are, just above this one room down here. Oh no. No, not that again. Ooh, but there's money here. And there's something there. Toilet. Two cafeteria yeah. ladies. And you notice I just entered this room. I didn't burst in. So only Hal and Ken are in the room. So Hal would go try D key. Yeah. Not um, that I'm good at those ladies. Well, here, let's see what their stats are. Six, there is 30, attack of one. Okay, they can't really hurt you that much, but look at the mobility, 100%. They're light on their feet. Cool. Just think of uh, Drew Carey dancing around at the beginning of his show. <laughs> uh, he was light on his feet. Now, see, I gotta move. Uh oh, she's coming after you. Hey, that, she's rushing to the toilet. I don't... Can we go over and grab their money? Maybe we can buy Apparently, our Apparently, I can't move down a square because that would put me in where that. Uh, prizes. I can't move him down. So hell, I can't move you to the left because there's a prize there. Oh, can I got to move to the left and then down? Ah, good. Okay, end of the battle. Can wipe her. Uh... We found a hundred. Now do we get the money? No, oh, now we get the money. It's automatic. And oh, it's good. Something in the middle. I hate to say it looks like a toilet, but yeah, I think it is. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Is that heal me? If yeah. I use the <laughs> Ken could have used the toilet. No, oh, good, right there. Yeah, so let's look at our stats here. So, Vic. Yeah, I only got 16 hit points available for my character. Magic. Hell, you have 18 plus 3, oh. 21 hit points. Look at the experience oh. you've got. Look at that, boy. Must be the shorts. Mm -hmm. Ken, you got 24, so you got the highest hit points of all of us here. And you got the rubber band, too. Yeah. And the flat shirt. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, map. And uh, boy, it's a long way over there. I'll just head north. It's the closest room. Yeah, people have repainted uh, the Tunnels of Doom set here, uh, different colors. And uh, um, I think it was Ken uh, did uh, Halls of Lost Moriah based on the uh, Dwarven Caverns yeah. and Lord of the Rings. And he said, when you load this, load the continue the existing game because he already had it set up horizontally for so you're going from east to west through the mountain uh, through the caverns and he said uh, yeah don't uh, dig a new dungeon because uh, then you'll just get a ra random uh, tunnels of doom dungeon he said always continue the existing game so you have the uh, halls of lost Mariah that he uh, he set up. Ooh. Uh oh, what's this one now? Trendies. Trendies. Oh, gosh. I'll have to look them up. Press key three. Trendy. Attack two. Mm -hmm. Resistance zero. Mobility. Oh, I can run after you. Oh, with the right, special can, attack chance. But you can negotiate with these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only time you would really want to negotiate with the character is when you've got gold you can spare, money you can spare, 
and there's no treasure in the world. Hmm. Because you can't just negotiate with them and then pick up the treasure. I see. You yeah. have to de defeat them. Ah. And in Tunnels of Doom, you have two graphics for each character. Like the guy on the left is when you encounter them, and the one on the right is when they're fighting. Ah. So yeah. each character has two different views. Huh. Cool. So right now, there's nothing in here. So we can try end and negotiate. You want 30 bucks. Uh, let's beat him up. Okay. Down. <laughs> Beauty gear training. There you go. Okay. Take it out. Take a moment. That's a, that's a way to do it. Yeah, there, there was no treasure. Actually, another thing we could have done was try to uh, sneak out of the room. Yeah. Where if you just walk out of the room, then it would go, you have escaped the, and then whatever the name of the monster is. Nah, beat him up. Yeah. Okay, so we're sort of like in a dead end there. We'll go down, turn right, head west. We haven't found any of the red tags or the uh, blue light special yet. Lunch. <laughs> we will try to open the cafeteria. Oh, okay. So this could be uh, three digits from one to three. So it'd be, I don't know if it's like one, 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 two, one, one, three. The cost of lunch has three digits ranging from one to three. So I usually uh, go, this is a simple number search. Uh, hello? Cost of lunch. I'll type in one, two, three, and you'll see why. Okay, there in the upper right, there's your clues. It's like, it's too high, and none of the numbers are in the right position. So I don't know how to, oh, the price is higher, or is it too high? Oh, I see. We have to we have to guess yeah. the we guess the. Uh, and and, and how is it telling? Okay, so two three one. How could none of them have been in the right position, and it was too high at one two three? Because then it would have been one one one. It says two of the numbers are right, but it doesn't tell you what, your, what, what it is. Oh, and the price is higher. Three, one, two. No, the price is lower than that. Three, two, one. Now, what does that tell you? The price is lower, but None of the digits are in the right spot. One, three, two. Two are right and the price is higher. Two, one, three. I have to read the instructions again. I think that's how these clues work. Of course, if I had the manual here, it would help. Although I think one of those deviating uh, files was the manual that explained all these amp truths. We tried two through one. That didn't work. No. We tried three one two. That didn't work. Three two. I mean, there's there's only 
one, well, we tried one, two, three, that didn't work. So, 233, two of, the, two of the numbers are right. 133? Oh, I see, you can, you can duplicate the numbers? Mm-hmm. Well, 333 three, three, then, maybe. Okay, well, it seemed like it was what between 331? 312 and 321. How about 331? Mm -hmm. You have to use all three numbers? I don't know. No, I don't think so. It's uh, the price is lower than that. So it would be 122, 123. None of them was in the right spot for one, two, three. Huh. In two, three, one, two of them were in the right spot. In three, one, two, one of them was in the right spot. How about two, three, three? Uh, we did that already. Two were in the right spot. Oh, we did it. Yeah. All right, then uh, one, three, three. Did we do that? No. All right. Two, two, two. Okay. So two, 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 two of the numbers were in the right spot. One, one, one. None of them were in the right spot. Now that's a clue. You don't use the number one in this code. Three, three, three. One of them is in the right spot. Okay. So it's a combination of two twos and one three. Okay, uh, two, three, two. There you go. There we are. I had to re-figure out how this is. Yeah, I thought you had to use each number. So now no, we know. Uh, now we so know. I guess on this code breaker, the simplest, and it tells you how many of those are the right number. And then if it says, you know, one of the, if it says all those are the right right number you got one right out of one 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 out of two 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 and out of three two three then you know it uses all three mm -hmm. but that was the key yeah three 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 one was right and two 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 was right so then it's just juggling them around they give you 10 turns so lunch is now served wow all right oh it's on 140 bucks Got to look at our stats here. Six points fifteen. Uh, you got Bermuda shirts too, or? Mm -hmm. I got Bermuda shirts. <clears throat> oh, buying clippers and Bermuda shirts. Yeah. So hell, it looks like your hit wounds have equaled your hit points. That's why your character has disappeared from the screen. Ah. That's it, huh? So wait. With all the, with all that experience, I still, I still. Okay, let's out, see what huh? Ken's scroll can do. Untried scroll. We don't know what that scroll will do until you use it. Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe we're gonna roll it up and hit one of the cafeteria ladies with it. Okay, yeah. All right, by the way, how did I use up uh, all my uh, hit points or whatever it is? Well, you're always the first in line and fighting everything. Oh, oh, I see. So I get hit every time I hit them. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go out in the hallway. Two moves, three moves, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Map again. Okay. okay. I'm going to have to try to find healing for you. Uh, I should have gone, should have gone to the toilet when I had a chance. 
Oh, well, that can be healed now, or what? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Ah. Ken has a magical scroll, but don't know what it does. Let's see if I got something. 20% off sale. Let's see what that does. Ah, oh, okay. around here. What is that? It's a potion. Potion? Oh. You know me, I love potions. Okay, so let's look at your stats. Untried potion. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to use the potions on that. This M gives you a map. C is a door. Does P give you a potion? I'll give you a poke. Yeah. <laughs> Does it say there? No, it just data says data on which item. I tried two. Let's get the data and see what. Uh... Uh, you don't won't know until you use it. Oh, I see. Well, that's. Maybe it's something useful like Viagra or something. Mm. Not too far. I think K is a secret room. It's not hooked up to the corridor. So, you go up one, turn right, go one, turn right. Yes, yeah, so you were right above it, and I don't remember what the command is for entering a secret room. Darn, I bet you there's something there too. So let's look west again, turn left, into this room, get south out of it. Uh-oh. What is this guy? Uh, who is this guy? A bum. He's a what? A, a bum. bum. A bum? Yeah, one bum. A one bum. He's got a flask. Booze or something. Ah, I see. Experience 60. Attack of 2, Ooh. damage of 2, defense of 2, resistance 50. Not very mobile. Can't negotiate. Special attack chance. Bad print. <laughs> <laughs> Smells of urine. Yeah. I press W for weapon. Press F for fire. Use the arrow keys to move the cursor. Press the space bar. Ah, you missed. All oh. right. End the battle. Found another hundred twenty bucks. And cast spell. No, I can't remember what command it was to use uh, one of your potions or something. Sorry. Oh. 
Let's see, I'll read the map. Oh, so we do have a room up there. Let's look at our status. We have 14 munchies left. We got some money. I still haven't found the blue light. Maybe they, uh... mm -hmm. Okay, I'll uh, keep going uh, straight ahead. Straight, we're headed north. So north about five. Uh... Oh, no. There's another bump. Oh, that's a fat lady. That's different. Add some hit points. Watch for needs a tap. Oh, a ranged attack. I wonder if she's got a rubber band also. Resistance, minus the mobile special attack chance. Okay. Let's try to save our rubber bands. Ooh. There you go. Although it really wasn't worth fighting because there was nothing in the room. Well, you never know. I thought wounds got healed as you walked along. Ah, yeah, the wounds got healed is uh cafeteria maybe. I think they mean cafeteria, but uh, that's not how it's spelled. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. How did I do that? Well, she attacked me. Well, that's weird. Oh, got it. Okay. It was I'm risky because you only have three hit points left. I see. End of the battle. Mm -hmm. Oh, magic stone. This could be the magic stone. So. Mm -hmm. uh, we already got a map, but yeah, there's no one that says you can't have two of them. So. so I keep hitting the wrong key here. Let me get my bearings. Look at the map. Okay, there's two way down here. Yeah, I gotta go east eventually. Yeah, so Tunnels of Doom was nice because it was an open-end cartridge TI had planned on making a whole bunch of games to use this engine. And uh, with the word Tunnels of Doom, it sounds like it would be pretty much the fantasy sort of sorcery type. Yeah. Although I've seen them where it's outer space, you're on a spaceship trying to explore a derelict spaceship or space station or something like that. How about, uh, how about Tunnel of Love? Yeah, uh, in which you keep going around and around and around until you finally get what you want. <laughs> okay, I did beat it first. Ah, look what we found there in the lower right corner. Foreigner. <laughs> no, the blue light blue special. Light. What a foreigner in a Kmart. How unusual. It's rather uh, and, uh, Yes. A lot of experience, although only six hit points. Uh, this creature... Garlic <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Funny. Remember, Ken did this for fun. This is yes, it's supposed, it's supposed, well, I'm not not be mean. I'm I'm abused. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Resistance uh, can't negotiate with them. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Well, we want that blue light special. Oh, there is so, this is a blue light special? Oh, yes. Well that's just Stomp the wall. I'm going to move you away now. <laughs> That's a good idea. Good idea. Keep okay, he attacks. Remember, he has a ranged attack, which means he can strike at a distance. Oh. So he's either got, you know, wadded up uh, paper pamphlets or rubber bands and paper and uh, paper clips. 
Struck my character again. I've got like what, 15 hit points and 80 wounds. This is a this is an evil type. Yeah. Must be a Russian. Okay. Now to strike him, you got to get your character right next. There you go. All right. Nice hit. Let's get the blue light special. Our quest is completed. You found the blue light. Okay. So if I press uh, two. Press status, blue light, found. Oh, so we've got to find the three red tags. And we look at our stats. Uh, we've got um, 27 minutes left on our, uh, on our reservation. Now I can go out and ask if there's somebody else uh, up after there. us. But, uh, they were rather specific about it, mm -hmm. and uh, she thought she was giving me a good deal to give me an extra 15 minutes. Well, we can uh, always go to this last room at the end of the hall and wrap it up. Uh, and we have been broadcasting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have okay. you still. seen it uh, changing? Yeah, well, yeah it's, uh, it's uh, Any uh, chat? Uh, oh, uh, chat. Now, wait a minute. Hi guys, it says, I'm glad you got the stream going. I sign into chat. How do I sign into chat? I, I don't know how to, live chat. I press this over here, live chat. We got uh, one, I don't know if we got one watching or one, uh, four watching. We got four watching. Oh my heavens. Uh, live chat. I press on that and I get just Jim. All right. Learn more. It says learn more. Open with, uh, no, I don't want to open with any of that stuff. Sign into chat. If I know how to sign in. Do you, do you, have to, you have to have a password and all that stuff? Uh, Probably. Uh, uh, I'll just, <clears throat> since we can speak and they can hear, mm -hmm. I, we don't need to sign in. Um, remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Okay, so these are oh. Indian guides. That must be like Boy Scouts. And they're, they're <laughs> that's cute. And they have. Uh, oh, I was an Indian. Oh, we have to knock them off. Is that the? Is that yeah. The? Oh well, well. What the heck? Ouch! Ooh. They jumped up. I think they. Uh, I think they speared you with their. Am I gonna come over and uh, kick butt here? Boy, they're, they're tough to hmm. smack them with the wallet and see what happens. No. Uh -oh. All right. Um. Jesus. Sixty <laughs> percent off. We gotta. We gotta beat these. Uh, yeah. We gotta yeah. beat these kids. Ah. Uh, oh. off. What a deal. Oh, we got a chest. Who's going to open the chest? On 80 bucks. All that for 80 bucks? That was... Red tag number two. Okay. Oh. So I'll... Uh, check out the quest here. Oh, we should actually go back upstairs and get more munchies because we're down from what? 40 munchies or 20 munchies to eight? Eight munchies. Mm -hmm. What happens if if we get 
Down to zero. Oh, then you starve to death. Starve to death at a Kmart. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a lunch counter too. I've I've seen uh, I've seen people who must be starving to death because they walk along and they grab a bag of uh, something and they rip it open and they eat half of it and they put it back on the shelf. That's Kmart for you. That's okay. save a lot in some of these other okay. stores. Okay, now there is a way of uh, saving the game. But I don't remember, so I'll just press. Well, we got we got time to. Uh, we're not in desperate mode yet. Okay. Pressing O, you can change the order of your characters as you walk in. So if you've got one who's low on hit points, you might want to have two of your strongest characters huh. walk in the room first and leave the other ones outside. I've been doing pretty much the burst to where they all... Okay. That was nothing to, nothing, oh, trading? Oh, uh, trading, your various characters can trade items with each other. Mm. So if you've got two that are fighters and one guy, you know, finds a sword and goes like, well, I oh, prefer this battle axe, uh, you know, so you can trade stuff, right? Okay. I don't know what I've got to trade. I don't want to take off my Bermuda shorts. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, so pressing L, you can load or save the game. So I'm going to save this, this one. I'm going to call it Kmart 1. And now what we could do is we could restock this old dungeon where it uses the same layout. Because sometimes you like a particular dungeon layout and you might want to uh, just restock it. Or you might go, yeah, I saved my game, but I want a new dungeon or three, continue the current game. But we're going to split with that. Yeah, no, we never did get those red light specials, did we? Or whatever, we red light somethings. Yeah. So if we go to uh, disc number three where I have my utilities and I'll go down here to boot and I like boot uh, if I was smart I would set a boot off uh, with its menuing program to load all those different utilities so all I would have to do is hit a uh, a load file okay. JD writes does anyone remember the Kmart in Evanston ah uh, no, I don't think I remember a Kmart. I remember uh, uh, a um, ten cent store. Uh, I think it. Uh, yeah, it was a nice, uh, good, good uh, ten cent store. But I don't Kmart. I don't know where it. Uh, ah, remember a lot of different things that are gone now, but I don't remember the Kmart. Here's what I should have read first and printed out. How to play the game. So uh -huh. your ESDX keys, your motion. Uh, function X, move down a flight of stairs. Function E, up a flight of stairs. Function 7. Oh, displays uh, command summary. A, all right, duh. Uh, I should have thought of that. Function 8. Ah, it was on the Dodge where the uh, Food for Less is now. Mm -hmm. That's where the Kmart was. Function six, next display, back, returns from looking at stairs for the clear of the races section. Shift S, moves cursor to the left. There's a food for less on uh, church. Or no, it's Main Street. Uh, I'm thinking of Main Street. Okay, save a game, show food player plus. status report. Change. Two shows party status, three shows monster status, fires a ring for weapon, shows map. And negotiates with monsters. Ah, you enables a player to use Street, a magical yeah. item. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, gee, I grew up around the Niles area, and I remember when they had Steinberg Bomb there, yeah. and that was a great department store. 
Mm. And uh, until one of them uh, took a million dollars out of the bank account and went to South America with it. <laughs> and uh, Stanley Brown closed. I don't remember which one of the partners it was. It was a damn shame. Because that corner of uh, in Niles never recovered economically. Mm. Had to that been the powerhouse of a store. What corner was it in Niles? I don't remember which one. Oh. Oh. Was a pretty corner to a liquor store that was on a rather tight street. And they had signs on the curb that said, don't even think about parking here. Mm. Rather than the no parking <laughs> sign. So, uh, yeah, so that was a demonstration of running Tunnels of Doom as a uh, EA file rather than a bin file. So if you've got a P-Box and a disk drive, yeah. you could run it without the cartridge. Yeah. The same thing with Play-Doh when I discovered that. They had the Play-Doh uh, editor assembly files that you could run, but you needed a super card. Yeah. So it's five files, not just four. That's how I always ran it on the uh, super card. And um, uh, I, um, I think I gave Barry Miller the, uh, the disk that had the, the terminal uh, uh, the uh, direct line to their uh, server down in where that Springfield mm -hmm. yeah and uh, that uh, I never used um, I remember it was uh, one of those um, disks that it was blue uh, a blue cover on the uh, on the five and a half and a five and a quarter inch disk uh, and I ran across years and years ago. We ran across a whole bunch of colored discs. We had orange and green and blue oh, and those. yellow. And, uh, it was kind of neat. You could keep. Uh, uh, gave everybody in the family a different colored disc, and um, uh, kept all of the, the kids' games and stuff separate from uh, any of my discs, and they could find their own discs. Mm -hmm. It was kind of neat. Barry Hamilton used to bring us uh, white discs uh, at Program 7. Yeah. I found a lot of those discs that were uh, colorful uh, from Kodak uh, could do double density. Mm -hmm. So, and I had a double density controller at the time. So anytime I had to copy a disc or create a disc in double density, I did it only on the colorful discs. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so when I went to a single density controller, I didn't get messed up again. Yeah. Uh, oh, so many things that I have forgotten uh, that I once knew. So many different procedures. Uh, the other day I was rummaging around and I found the uh, list of how to uh, uh, fix the RAM disk. And uh, I had actually forgotten a couple of the, uh, of the commands. Um, yeah, that was on the, uh, the from Barry Harmson library that I wanted to go through. Hey, Rich uh, Gilbertson just checked in. Uh -huh. um, hey, Rich, we're just using RxB and uh, and Kmart <laughs> and Kmart <laughs> and Vic uh, uh, Vic uh, always uses RxB. RxB. Uh, as a preference to mm -hmm. any other XP program. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the. Uh, so, are we starting to shut down? Yeah, or yeah, we, uh, I'd say let's uh, start to shut down. We, yeah. we should probably tell everybody that uh, today we've been, uh, we haven't been kicked out, but we have been told we only have the room until 3.15. I'm about to go out and find out if there's somebody mm -hmm. behind us. Maybe we can get some extra time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. these phones are not working. Yeah. Yeah, next month we can do a uh, history lesson and going through uh, the late Barry Harmson's archives of uh, newsletters, uh, music group discs, uh, music programs, and uh, just a whole lot of uh, different information. Uh, one of those discs was on uh, uh, called console modifications to where if uh, 
your console and your P-Box and your monitor are all on a switch strip, this minor modification to a console would delay its startup by a second or two, because you're always supposed to turn the console on last. Uh, I have my hookup hooked up to a switch strip for years, and everything seems to start up just fine without having any problems. Uh, but that was one modification. Another one was uh, uh, circuit check that would test the memory in a uh, supercard. We've got several programs that can test the program uh, console memory and the memory in the P-Box of 32K, but nothing to check that extra 8K in a supercard. And then we found uh, Copy C, which is a track copier by uh, Quentin Taraniman. And the idea of a track copier is it doesn't matter uh, how the disk is set up. I believe it would correctly copy a, uh, a Plato disk, because Plato does uh, shenanigans with where they put the information on where the uh, where the files are and such like that. They juggle stuff around. So just using a regular disk copier doesn't work with Plato. Uh, yeah, so there was a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, I'll be doing, uh, but that'll be next month. Uh, one is on doing plotting on the screen from BASIC. Two different uh, duking it out in memory, one called Battle Bites, and the other called Core Wars. I believe uh, Wally Baluli uh, demonstrated uh, his Core Wars uh, um, several years ago. Bad news. Um, they're given us till 4 o'clock, and uh, at the other position, somebody had just reserved the room at 3.15. So okay. we have to leave. All right, we have to wrap it up then. Yep. So we will uh, be back here next, uh, let's see, in June on the, what, uh, what day is June? Uh, there I can probably, oh, uh, let's see, uh, post the bid, it says. Okay, it will be posted. Uh, and uh, it's going to be on, um, on YouTube in the usual place. If you found it today, you'll know where it is next time. Uh, we will uh, be back here on the first Saturday in June, I believe. Is that okay? Uh, Sounds good. Um, and God willing, and the crick don't rise. <laughs>